I'm an international business student studying at Harriet Watt and I have to do a postgrad abroad and it worries me that um, I won't be able to rece receive funding. And in terms of my constituents, um, I'm, from a f I'm from an area that um, receives a lot of funding and subsidies from the European um, Union. Um, for example, we have um, marine, marine renewable energy that's funded by the U EU and um, a pure art centre. Um, funded by the European Union and um, a lot of young people um, visit these areas and um, I fear that um, young people won't be so interested in um, technology and art after the EU referendum result. It affected me a lot at the same time, it affected many of my constituents with whom I spoke about this issue and many of them got in touch with me through the social media and also in person during many committee events. And one of the views they pointed out, they feel distracted, Anna from Lithuania said that she's also afraid about her work. Mikhail from Poland said he is afraid about his place in the local community. So this result affects our local community's cohesion, how we can work together, how we can build relationships between people from different ethnic backgrounds, different religious backgrounds and different cultures. I think it could potentially affect me in the future. Um, I hope to study French and German at university. And as part of that, um, you have to do a year abroad, normally through the Erasmus scheme. Um, but now that's obviously under threat with the um, vote to leave the EU. Uh, so it could, uh, it could actually um, negatively affect uh, my, uh, my future. Um, not me personally, but in my work as an MSIP and as chair of Glasgow Youth Council, um, I've had lots of messages and emails from young people um, across our great city, kind of questioning why and what, why they were denied a voice and what happens next and kind of the, the, the hate that has been sparked since the result. We also were disappointed that the decision could affect our futures, yet our opinions weren't really listened to, 16 and 17 year olds couldn't vote. A lot of people are scared and nervous about the state of their future and how their education and work life, as well as travel and holidays, may be affected by the decision to leave the EU. On Brexit itself, I'm also quite upset with the result. Um, personally, I have felt um, an increase of racism. Uh, there has been a significant um, increase in that and I have noticed it myself. The most obvious thing for me um, after the Brexit result was I'm at Strathclyde University. I'm my second year of law and in my third year I get, the, I get to go abroad if I want to. <clears throat> and Strathclyde has dramatically cut their... Um, their their schemes for abroad, like places in Europe, places out with Europe, have all been cut. They've not as such said it's because of Brexit, but they've hinted at it. The reason why, because um, going to these places is far more expensive now for the exchange programmes, and Strathclyde is unable to support students, and I know for a fact as well that Strathclyde is not the only university in the country that's had to cut that. I think it... It slightly affected um, our local youth project because we wanted to apply for funding to go visit the European Parliament, but then we were told that that funding was kind of being put on hold <coughs> while the Brexit situation was being sorted out. So in that way it kind of has affected me, but also it's changed what I want to study in the future. It's affected me slightly because I said I want to go um, into the sector of international refereeing and things. I think it will affect me for that. I was hoping... Um, to go and do some things with politics as well uh, and other sports things in Europe but I feel that I, I, it's kind of stopped me from applying for these things because I'm unsure of what is going to happen.